Google is back again with another big upgrade where they just recently dropped Gemini API and a new upgrade to their Google AI Studio. This is where developers can now have access to a new code interpreter called Code Execution. They also introduced context caching, a 2 million token context window that's available to all that are using the 1.5 Pro model. It's nice that they now support code execution, which is something that you can access through a one single API call. Unlike OpenAI, where a code interpreter is only available via assistant APIs, this is something that you can access with one single API call. Just take a look at this example where code execution is built inside the Gemini 1.5 Pro Studio. You can basically make changes across your entire code base with this new code interpreter and you can have it so that it can perform coding tasks. Here in this example, someone basically uploaded an entire project which consisted of 79 source files and he basically asked it to make big changes across it. Now in this particular example, it's going to go through all the different source files, entire the code base and make all the changes that are necessary. Now with Gemini API, the code execution feature is going to enable you to model and generate different types of code. You can run Python code and learn from the results until it arrives to a final output. You can even build powerful applications, generate code for various use cases, debug, and so much more. This is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video. So with that thought guys, stay tuned as we explore what this new upgrade Google has dropped and showcase how you can get started. So with that thought, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get started, I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses, as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So this was actually something that released a couple of days ago. And basically, I want to highlight a couple of things that they've dropped in this update because it's something that you should definitely keep an eye out for. This is the release of the Gemini 1.5 Pro 2 million context window. They introduced the code execution capabilities as well as Gamma 2, which is a new model. Now, in this upgrade, they were focusing on all of these different components that will enhance the Gemini models. Obviously, with the 2 million context window, you're going to now have access to a larger context window, which is going to significantly expand the amount of context the model can consider and generate. And it's going to allow for more complex and nouns tasks. You have this code execution capabilities that have been introduced with the Gemini API. It's going to support code execution that will enable the model to generate and run python code this is not just restricted to python code it will also be focusing on various other programming languages it's a feature that's available in gemini 1.5 flash which is something that you can access with the api over here and i'll leave a link to this in the description below so you can get started with this this is something that you can try out in the ai studio by simply just open this up and you're going to be able to access this within their studio now let's go back and take a look at this feature of the code execution. Now this is something that is going to be leveraging code execution within the Gemini model and it's going to be able to base like I would say refine the base of the code and its outputs by learning from the results of the executed code from previous uh, I would say archives your code base and it's going to be able to get you the best desired outcome with this code execution feature. So how can we get started? Well, the code execution is actually available in both AI Studio and Gemini API. In the AI Studio, it's going to be enabled under advanced settings. And in the Gemini API, code execution is going to act like a tool that can basically have the model use it whenever it's needed. You can get started with code execution with a notebook and you can run this actually within Google Colab as well as through a source code and you can access this within GitHub. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. To enable this within AI Studio, what you can do is go over to advanced settings on the bottom right. You want to click on this and you want to enable code execution. This way you can then have 
the ability to utilize this new feature so let's actually test this out what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically have it list the numbers out over here and write a python function to calculate the average of these numbers and then execute the code to provide the results now the reason why i'm doing this is because it's going to ask the model to generate and run the python code so that it can calculate the average of the list of numbers and it's going to demonstrate its ability to execute the code as well as providing the results based on its iterative learning so this is the main feature behind code execution and you can see with a couple of seconds you're going to have this outputted and we can see it generated the right number which was 2 5 8 12 16 and it was able to provide the average which we see over here this is something that was correct and it's great that we were able to get this average of 8.6 within a couple of seconds so in my next test i'm gonna have it generate a simple html template for a SaaS landing page this is where i told it to create a header feature list pricing table and a couple other things and the reason why i'm going to do this is because i want to test out the iterative functionality of the code execution feature so i'm going to now have it generate and run the code for it it's going to take a couple seconds to generate the html template and this is where i'm going to have it copied and pasted within a live view html feed so that you can see the output and there we go we got the code and then i pasted it into an html viewer and we can see that it has generated the full on website which has animations a pricing plan and certain components need editing but we can see that it was able to generate this website within a couple seconds now a lot of people may be confused between the difference of code execution and function calling but these are two things that are available through the Gemini API and they handle computational tasks and each are different tools or tool sets that have distinct advantages. For example, starting off with the code execution, you can allow for the API to autonomously generate and execute Python code and this is within a controlled backend environment. This is best for letting the API handle code tasks autonomously. It's quite simple to set up and it's with a single API request. So this is something that will be used for a single charge. Whereas for function calling, what this is, is that it runs through a requested function in your chosen environment. And it's something that is best for using custom functions or local setups. This is a process that is for more API requests and potentially used for multiple charges. So for choosing for which one you would want to go for you would use the code execution for api handled python tasks which is why they incorporated code execution within their studio and they have it set for a specific use case where you would need to enable it or toggle it on for that specific use case to generate python code whereas for using the function calling feature you would want to use this for custom and local functions that are needed for your environment one thing to note for billing is that there's no additional charge for enabling code execution for Gemini API. It will be billed for the current rate input and output for token. So this is something that you would want to know if you're going to be utilizing this. And a couple limitations are is that the model can only generate and execute code. It cannot return other artifacts like media files. So just keep that in mind. But you can also have it so that it could be saved as a JSON file and you can set that up within Gemini AI Studio you have the ability that, or you don't have the ability that supports files with IO or uses cases that involve non-text outputs. For example, data plots. You have code execution that can run for a maximum of 30 seconds before timing out. In some cases, enabling code execution can lead to regressions in other areas of model output. For example, writing a story, which is obviously kind of true. You would only want to use this for Python generation. But one thing that I thought would hinder the success of this is the maximum of only 30 seconds before timing out. This is something that would hinder the generation of longer context and long context meta generation. There is some variations in the ability of the different models to use code execution successfully. For example, you can use this with Gemini 1.5 Pro. It is the best performing model based off of their text testing of this feature. Now you can also implement this within your SDK. So just keep that in mind and you can configure this based off the docs that I'll leave in the link in the description below. And that basically concludes today's video on this new upgrade that Google has launched. I definitely recommend that you read this blog post because there's a lot more than just this code execution feature. 
which is basically your code interpreter for Python use case. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Patreon because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free on a monthly basis. You have the ability to follow my Twitter page completely for free. And this is a great way for you to access different sorts of tools, news, as well as AI guides on various things. So definitely follow this because a lot of people haven't actually followed this. But this is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.